This is the Music History Today podcast for March 24th. On today's show, the first Soul Train Music Awards takes place. Elvis Presley joins the Army and Billboard magazine debuts two new charts. First up, though, on this date in 1941, band leader Glenn Miller started filming his first movie called Sun Valley Serenade. In 1945, Billboard magazine put out its first albums chart, with Nat King Cole's album A Collection of Favorites becoming the very first number one album. Eleven years later, in 1956, Billboard magazine put out a new version of its top albums chart and based it strictly on sales. Harry Belafonte's album, Belafonte, was their first number one. In 1958, Elvis Presley entered the United States Army. In 1962, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards played live on stage together for the first time, not as the Rolling Stones, but as Little Boy Blue and the Blue Boys. In 1973, a fan bit Lou Reed while he was performing on stage. In 1998, the group Chinois was formed. In 2000, the TV music contest reality show Making the Band premiered. Also on that same day, Jack White and Meg White of the White Stripes divorced. In 2006, the TV show that made Miley Cyrus popular, Hannah Montana, premiered on the Disney Channel. In 2009, Prince launched the online music subscription website LotusFlow3R.com where he sold subscription access to his music and videos for $77. In 2010, the World Health Organization made Craig David one of the Goodwill Ambassadors against tuberculosis. In 2012, the TV sketch comedy show that was created by Tyler the Creator, Loiter Squad, premiered. In 2013, the biopic on the Phil Spector trial called Phil Spector premiered. And in 2020, the first versus battle took place online during COVID lockdowns between Swiss Beats and Timbaland. In classical music in 1721, the Margrave of Brandenburg Schwed, Christian Ludwig, was presented with the gift of Johann Sebastian Bach's Brandenburg Concertos by Bach himself. In 1786, Mozart finished his Piano Concerto No. 24 in C minor, K491. In 1824, Ludwig van Beethoven premiered his composition, Misa Solemnis. In 1924, Jean Sibelius premiered his Seventh Symphony in C. In 1934, Dmitry Shostakovich premiered his Suite for Jazz Orchestra. And in 1984, Philip Glass premiered his opera, Acneton. In theater, in 1977, Lily Tomlin opened her solo show, appearing nightly on Broadway, becoming the first woman to have her own solo show on Broadway. In 1979, the musical Ballroom closed on Broadway, and in 1994, the revival of the musical Carousel opened on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on March 24th in 1987, Luther Vandross and Janet Jackson were among the big winners at the very first Soul Train Music Awards. Albums that were released in the UK on March 24th include 1973 when Pink Floyd released their legendary album, The Dark Side of the Moon. Meanwhile, in America, in 1966, the Easy Beats released It's Too Easy. In 1969, the Mothers of Invention released Mother Mania. In 1971, Elton John released the soundtrack to Friends, not the TV show, obviously. In 1972, Dan Hicks and his Hot Licks released Striking It Rich, and Slade released Slade Alive. In 1974, Weather Report released Mysterious Traveler. In 1975, Chicago released Chicago 8, and Leonard Skinner released Nothing Fancy. In 1979, Motorhead released Overkill. In 1980, the Beatles' album Rarities was released, and the Beach Boys released Keeping the Summer Alive. In 1982, The Talking Heads released The Name of This Band is Talking Heads. In 1986, The Pet Shop Boys released Please, and The Rolling Stones released Dirty Work. In 1992, Arrested Development released Three Years, Five Months, and Two Days in the Life of. 
Also in 1992, They Might Be Giants released Apollo 18. In 1994, Running Wild released Black Hand Inn. In 1997, Supertramp released Some Things Never Change and Everclear released White Trash Hell. In 1998, NSYNC released their self-titled album. The Specials released Guilty Till Proven Innocent. Blue Oyster Cult released Heaven Forbid and Journey released their Greatest Hits live album. In 2008, The Who released the soundtrack to Amazing Journey, The Story of The Who. In 2009, Dan Hicks and his Hot Licks were at it again, this time releasing Tangled Tales. Also on that same day, The Indigo Girls released Poseidon and The Bitter Bug. And in 2015, Van Morrison released duets reworking the catalog. Singles that were released on March 24th in the UK included 1978 when Paul McCartney and Wings released With a Little Luck. Meanwhile, in America in 1958, Sam Cooke did a twofer. He released Lonely Island and You Were Made for Me. In 1964, Aretha Franklin released Soulville. In 1966, the Mamas and the Papas released Monday Monday. In 1967, the Yardbirds released Little Games. In 1974, Grand Funk Railroad released Bad Time. In 1977, Fleetwood Mac released their classic Dreams, which has had a renaissance as of late. In 1986, Howard Jones released No One Is to Blame, and in 2021, Johnny Orlando released I Don't. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on March 24th include rapper Blanco Brown, singer Park Baum, singer Paul Towen, bassist Carol Kay, singer Billy Stewart, singer Jack Johnson of Jack and Jack, singer Tony Romiti, singer Ruben DeMade. Singer Mina, singer Nervous Norvis, Holger Zuke of Can, Lee Oscar of War, singer Nick Lowe of Rockpile, Steve Lang of April Wine, Dougie Thompson of Supertramp, singer Nana of the 80s group Nana, Sharon Kaur of the group The Coors, singer Nivea, P.A. Pacemaster Mace of De La Soul, Chad Butler of Switchfoot, entertainer Dagmar, Mike Kelly of Spooky Tooth, drummer Colin Peterson of the Bee Gees Backup Band, Dave Apple of the Apple Jacks, and Steve Souza of Exodus. Artists who unfortunately passed away on March 24th include composer Philip Delicius, who passed away in 1631 at the age of 68. Composer Samuel Sheed passed away in 1654 at the age of 66. Composer Theodore Reinhold passed away in 1755 at the age of 72. Composer Giovanni Parodi passed away in 1825 at the age of 64. Composer and organist Thomas Atwood passed away in 1838 at the age of 72. Composer Albin Masick passed away in 1878 at the age of 73. Composer Robert Stewart passed away in 1894 at the age of 68. Concert pianist Enrique Granados drowned when his ferry was struck by a German torpedo while the ferry was crossing the English Channel during World War I. Enrique Granados was 48 years old. Composer Theo Yesse passed away in 1918 at the age of 53. Composer Diotat de Sabric passed away in 1921 at the age of 48. Composer Gustav Heinz passed away in 1946 at the age of 66. Jazz pianist Jean Goldkett passed away from heart issues in 1962 at the age of 69. Composer and conductor Mark Lavery passed away in 1967 at the age of 63. Composer Oscar Rasback passed away in 1975 at the age of 66. Composer Saburo Mirai passed away in 1977 at the age of 73. Opera singer George London passed away in 1985 at the age of 64. 
jazz saxophonist with the Lionel Hampton Orchestra, Mr. Arnett Cobb, passed away in 1989 at the age of 70. Jazz drummer Tommy Benford passed away in 1994 at the age of 88. Composer David Van Vacker passed away in 1994 at the age of 87. Blues guitarist Joey Long passed away in 1995 at the age of 62. Singer Maria Lucia Beltran Alcayaga passed away in 1996 at the age of 66. Singer Harold Melvin of Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes passed away in 1997 at the age of 57. Jazz trombonist Al Gray passed away in 2000 at the age of 74. Band leader and pianist Dave Dalwitz passed away in 2003 at the age of 88. Guitarist Spanky Alford passed away in 2008 at the age of 53. Music executive Neil Espinal passed away from cancer in 2008 at the age of 66. The session drummer for Motown's famous Funk Brothers house band, Uriel Jones, passed away in 2009 at the age of 74. Music photographer Jim Marshall passed away in 2010 at the age of 74. Singer Johnny Maestro of the group The Crests passed away in 2010 at the age of 70. Opera singer Oleg Brijak passed away in a plane crash in 2015 at the age of 54. The singer who won the very first Eurovision Song Contest, Lis Asia, passed away in 2018 at the age of 94. Musician Manu Dibango passed away from COVID-19 in 2020 at the age of 86. Conductor and film music composer Gerard Sherman passed away in 2020 at the age of 96. The drummer for bands like Nine Inch Nails, R.E.M. and King Crimson, Bill Rufflin passed away in 2020 at the age of 59. The conductor of the Swiss-German Radio Symphony Orchestra from 1974 to 1980, and also a professor at the Basel Music Academy from 1983 to 1994, composer Rudolf Kelterborn passed away in 2021 at the age of 79. And composer Dolores White passed away in 2023 at the age of 90. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is March 25th, when in 2015, Zane officially left One Direction. In 1942, Aretha Franklin was born, and in 1947, Sir Elton John was born. (laughs) 